I want to get your evaluation of what happened on Friday. Just kind of look back a little bit and the factors of why you guys lost. Well, I look at the score. I was really surprised, number one, that you lost, number two, that you guys got shut out. Yeah, you know, there's there's never really an excuse for losing. Um, some people may say it was the weather, but they scored. We should have been able to score. I just think um, our offense needs to start rolling a little bit better. Um, we have a really tough defense. Um, we shut them out pretty good, and they just came out and smacked us in the mouth a little better than what we did, and uh, they played hard. What and I know you don't use the weather as as, a, as an excuse, but was it a factor the point where you guys were getting frustrated, you couldn't get your footing, couldn't get the thing rolling the way you normally do? Yeah, as a uh, safety, as a wide receiver, you know, sticking routes was a little tougher, but you just got to chop your feet and uh, make the cut that you need to make. Or if you're backpedaling, you have to chop your feet a little more so you can get the momentum going forward. Um, I just think that weather the weather was bad, but it shouldn't be an excuse that we lost. You guys, I mean, but you've been through that before. It isn't like the first time. Are you surprised that you weren't able to overcome that kind of a night? Yeah, um, having a new quarterback, like, it's it's um, it's a good feeling that that he knows what to do. But like Owen, he had three years of experience with it. He uh, he knew what what the footwork he needed to to make the cuts, to uh, hand the ball to Mason, to throw the ball. But, you know, I, I just don't think weather's really a big factor. Well, and they, as you know, we talked about this before, you get everybody's best shot. And if you don't play your best and they kind of sense that, they're coming after you pretty good, even maybe a little bit more. Yeah, uh, getting everyone's best shot is, like, great. But um, they just they came out, t like, more excited, more uh, focused, I feel like. Uh, practice last week we just we kind of got sloppy in some in some areas but I just feel like we overlooked them a little bit and we just weren't expecting that there probably won't be much danger of that this week right I know you have and you heard me probably talk to your coach and a couple of players about that is there a danger of saying you know what we've got Shenandoah next week which is ranked in the top 10 any danger of overlooking Lincoln this week um, no, we we just take it one step at a time, like one game at a time. Um, you know, they're 0-4, but, hey, they could come out, have a really good game. We could show up, like not show up like we did against uh, Union County, but I feel like getting everyone's best shot, we can't really overlook anyone. So. Well, Coach also said, too, that he kind of felt maybe in the first three games that people maybe saw that there were some vulnerable areas with this football team and that they could play with you do you think that gives other teams a little more confidence of course um knowing that we had a little bit of trouble tackling friday uh lincoln may use that as some confidence to maybe run the ball more run outside um as a secondary we didn't do a very good job of tackling so that might be a, a key thing to look at but we we came uh, this week and we're going to focus on the little details that we need to make the tackles um, and I think that once we get those little things fixed we'll be ready to go. You know the one thing that they, they've they always said all year long even though they have come up short in, in their four games they want to be physical and number two they want to run the football and with Jeremiah moving to the fullback spot they feel they have really a good two-headed monster. Is that a difficult thing defensively to know they have two really good running backs back there? Um, Really, any team, any team can come out like that. Uh, yeah, they have really good running backs, but I feel like our defense is going to step up this week and be a little more physical. Uh, sure, they'll they'll be physical with us too, but you know we just got to come smack them in the mouth first. We got to get off the bus. We got to get ready, get focused, and I think not doing that Friday, this past Friday, that that really shot us down, but. I think if we focus on that this week, we'll get off the bus, everyone's focused, you know, we'll have a good warm-up, we'll come out, and hopefully we'll smack them in the mouth before they do. All right, let me ask you one last thing, and that is this. If if there was a loss to be had, is it better to have it now, certainly than in the tournament, yes, but just say, you know what, maybe it gets you guys refocused and, and maybe re-geared and, and saying, you know what, we've got work to, 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 to be done. Yeah, uh, at school, you know, we, we thought we were kind of – I'm not going to say cocky, but we were, like, really confident, maybe a little too overconfident. And um, I think taking a loss early in the season is going to humble us a little more. And uh, 
I think that'll help us. 